The views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. Every week on the podcast, we like to start off with a previously on, like we're ER or something, yes. to let you guys know what we've been up to here on the Pope on Film podcast. Uh, and because we've done 138 episodes, and that's a lot of episodes, and there's a possibility... However unlikely that whoever's listening to this may not have heard the 137 episodes in their entirety that have led up to this 138th episode. Yes. And it's important to listen to all of them from the beginning! <laughs> so uh, that is why we would like to start off this episode with a previously on. As a public service to you, we're kind of the heroes here, to let you, the listener know what's going on here on the show so without any further ado or a little bit of ado a small amount of ado a, a teaspoon of ado a teaspoon of ado yeah previously on the pope on film you know last week it was uh just your typical episode we were talking about uh king kong versus godzilla and uh, we were both just, you know, sitting in our in our abodes, you know, mm -hmm. in our homes. Uh, Bunny was recording from his mansion in the Poconos. Yes. And I was uh, uh, broadcasting from my bunker, which is where I do all of my podcasting. I remember how oh, it was so funny. I, I while I was recording last week, uh, I got a. Um, a bug bite it was a uh, it a bug bit me on my perfectly rippled chest <laughs> it was amazing and there was a little bit of blood that was dripping down to my uh rock hard abs and so kind of kind of like like when bruce lee got cut in enter the dragon yeah yeah kind of like that that just fueled my anger that made me want to yeah. podcast even better mm-hmm I, w I think from that point on, I was even podcastier <laughs> my previous amount of podcasting. Natasha came in like halfway through the episode last week, and she's like, oh, Steve, I love you. Ah! Kiss me passionately. We made out for a while, and it was really, it was really, Natasha's laughing because she's, she's a big fan of the family circle. Yeah. And Billy oh! just got into some shenanigans. You know how he gets into the monkey shines. Yeah. Made up yeah. For half an hour. And then uh, Natasha got into an argument with Amber, and it was really funny because Amber was like, "You know what, Mom? I was wrong, and you were right. I'm so sorry. I'll listen to you better from now on." Yes. And then I was like, "Maxwell, are you gonna interrupt the show?" And he's like, "No." I respect your show and your podcasting, oh, father of mine. I will not speak for the rest of the show. And Eleanor's like, me too. And she did that, you know, she mimed that zipping sort of zzz, uh -huh. you know, zip in her mouth. And, and then it was a weird episode because you were just sipping Earl Grey tea throughout the entire thing. Yes. You know, it, it was a very NPR sort of vibe i got from you last week shouting engage for no damn reason yeah yeah it was weird so that was last week so it's interesting to see what happens this week what happens this week on the pope on film well then the bunford files i've got a non-joke to start us out this week okay well well it's a joke but it's, it's a joke that hasn't been finished. It's a non-completed joke. Eleanor, come on. Help me out. Help me out, Eleanor. Help me out. Help me out. You going to help me out, woman? Woman? Help me out. Help daddy out. So, it's, it's, so I've, got, I've, I've, I've got, like, maybe the beginning and the middle of the joke. Yeah. But it's a true story. It's a true story, so it's really interesting. Earlier this year, scientists... Astronomers, I guess. Yes. They they discovered, and this is true, two more moons orbiting the planet of Jupiter. Apparently, Jupiter oh, has. Oh no, dude! They found more like twenty. Yeah, 
Yeah, apparently I didn't realize this. Jupiter just has like a crap ton. So they found a bunch more moons that uh, that are around Jupiter, bringing the total of moons that Jupiter has to 69. 69. Yes, that's true. Now, all of the basic pieces of a joke are there. Yes. Yes, there it's are. It's definitely a setup for something. I'm just too tired to find a punchline. Plus, why do we have to do all of the work? <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Like, this is all free. Why don't you, the listener, help out for a change? Damn it. So basically, this is like a this is like an IKEA joke. It it's very much an IKEA joke. We have Jupiter, yep. we have moons. And we have 69. It's exactly 69. So there you go. That is, that is, you know, all the pieces are there. You just put them together. You got a joke somewhere. Yes. You're welcome. You will need the- an Allen wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. Yeah. There may be some pieces left over yes. afterwards. The interesting part is that most of the moons are like a mile long each. So in my mind, a moon of Jupiter is like one of the planets from the littlest prince. Yes. The, the little prince. Yeah. That, you know, you see this little blonde haired, blue eyed Aryan kid. Seriously, she was quiet until I started the she podcast. Was, like, she was being pretty damn quiet. All of a sudden, you're like, hey, I'm going to start the yeah, podcast. And the yeah. baby's like, oh, shit, now's yeah. my time. <laughs> she does this every every freaking time. Why are you, like, go to that? She does the same oh. thing, too. She does the same thing, too, Eleanor does, where it's like, I'm sitting down, and I am working on my podcast notes. And she's like, okay, Daddy, you work on your podcast notes. I'm just playing with some toys quietly on the other side of the house. And then it's like, okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom for three seconds. And then I go to the bathroom and she's like, now's my chance. And she grabs the notes and she's scribbling Don't on them. Lie. And she's like, throwing them all over the place. I'm sorry. The pressure that comes out when you piss is not like that of a fire hose. It's See? not three seconds. She drew, that. she drew that beautiful picture there. And That's then she lovely. also drew this. Uh, I like to think she drew that because uh, I wrote the word Nazis. And I like to think that she wrote that. because I just, am working on it, child. She was just pissed that I was talking about Nazis. Uh, See, I don't know. Back when I was younger and and in my heavy drinking days, uh, the pressure from my piss could have killed a man. Yeah. Yeah, but it takes Steve um, longer than three seconds. He has to walk to the bathroom. That takes more than three seconds. Oh, you didn't question you didn't question my rock hard abs or my (laughs) rippling tats, but the length of which I pee. That's where you're like, excuse uh, me. It's not even necessarily the length in which you pee. It's just now the length I take in which umbrage, the child sir. is left unattended in order to get to your podcast notes. It's like a magnet. Yeah. And he's not joking when he says this. No matter what, this child will find a way to get her hands on his podcast notes. <laughs> what we yeah. Yeah. She loves my podcast It's like notes. a magnet. She will be like, oh, shit, I need those. Yeah. And she- <laughs> them and she will try to run with them she will try to read them right on them tear them who fucking knows yeah. she wants to eat them i don't know but she wants the podcast notes yes these are the most these these podcast notes are the most important thing for her yeah. we 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 might have to declare a jihad on your daughter then no i don't know i think i don't know maybe maybe just a fatwa maybe Possibly. we will start with a fatwa and we'll we'll go over to a jihad. Yeah. Okay. Or does it go from jihad to fatwa? I forget. Yeah. I've 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 lost my Islamic flowchart. Yeah. 